Hey everyone, so if you follow my channel, you may have seen a couple of videos I posted a little over a year ago, featuring trail cam footage of two different long-tailed weasel predations on timber rattlesnakes from inside a New York hibernaculum. Well, it has happened again recently, this time at a different rattlesnake den. Now, the footage isn't as up close and personal as what you are seeing here, and to fully appreciate the dramatic interaction between weasel and snake, I suggest watching on a screen larger than a phone's. Okay, the latest weasel predation footage was captured in the early morning hours of January 20. I'm going to let the footage play out, then rewind and add commentary afterwards. Okay, from the beginning. It is a little difficult to see here, but this initially captures the weasel struggling to drag the rattlesnake out from the depths of the hibernaculum. That light, by the way, is from a second trail camera, but unfortunately, as you can see here, the lens was obscured by condensation. Here the weasel has successfully pulled most of the snake out of the den, but then releases its grasp, allowing the reptile a futile chance to escape. But the rattlesnake is too lethargic to move fast enough or defend itself. And when dragged out a second time, injury along with the frigid temperature has forced the snake into a hopeless situation. Now due to the 10 second delay between clips, there is no footage of the weasel dragging the snake away. But drag marks in the snow suggest it pulled its prey directly down the slope. The weasel temporarily returns 10 minutes later, presumably after caching the rattlesnake nearby. For the last three winters, my trail cameras have captured quite a few long-tailed weasels patrolling four different timber rattlesnake dens, likely due to the presence of numerous rodents, especially white-footed mice. And I think overall, weasel predation on rattlesnakes occurs infrequently and is not a serious cause of mortality. However, such mortality could be detrimental for small and fragmented timber rattlesnake populations, such as in New Hampshire and biologists should monitor, with trail cameras, any potential weasel predation as part of an overall conservation plan. Okay, well, that is my two cents for now. Thanks for stopping by, and please consider subscribing.